right, so last night when we got back to our um, tea house, it began to snow. And it snowed all night long. And everything around us that we saw yesterday has been properly dusted with beautiful white snow. Now it's about 5.45 in the morning. A lot of people are making their way up Gyokori. This is a big giant hill behind us. The peak I think is about 5,310 meters in hopes to be able to see the sunrise over Everest. Um, I'm looking up now wherever it should be and it's just a haze. So we decided not to make our way up to the um, Gyokori and save our energy for the next couple of days. Alright, so we're officially kicking off day 7 of our trek to Everest Base Camp. We're leaving Gokyo and heading to Teknak, which is um, at 4,600 meters. So we're going down a little bit, but the following day is going to be a tough one where we go high again. side of those mountains there. Literally, the side facing us is Nepal. The side facing the opposite direction is Tibet. So we've got undulating hills all the way there, but it's beautiful. Last night's snow has pretty much dusted everything, so it's almost like you're walking around in a winter wonderland. It is, however, slightly slippery and a bit more tricky than it should be. So we got plenty of time. Today's trek should only take about two and a half, three hours. An extra half an hour is gonna kill us, taking our time for safety. Now what is interesting is behind me, you hear the constant crackling of boulders and rocks that are sliding down from the side of the mountain. We've managed to avoid them when we were walking through, but some people are dodging them. Clouds are starting to roll in like clockwork, adding a nice dusting and 
atmosphere to the Himalayas. Not very close to our tea house, so we won't really be caught up in any bad weather today at least. Helicopter to the rescue. I want to see the flight. That's one way to heat up water. Got a few of them. All right, so that concludes today's trekking to Everest Base Camp. We have made it to the Chola Pass Resort here under the Chola Pass. That beast behind us, I believe, is what we're going to be tackling tomorrow. But until then, looks like it's going to be a nice sunny day for us to enjoy and um, relax a bit before the challenge tomorrow. Sure. Share coffee and our humble abode for the evening. So we've decided to treat ourselves here in the mountains. It's been a few days since we have had a proper shower. And um, I don't think you can call this a proper shower, but you see that ladder and you see that box. There has been a thermos or two of hot water filled up in that box. And there's an on switch in the shower. Rob goes first, he's the guinea pig. We're all squeaky clean. How was your shower, Rob? Oh my god, that makes it good. Uh, clean. How's the face? Clean. Treating myself to a minging from my hand. Why is it minging? Because it's black. Look at the color of it. Mm. Mother's milk. Alright, so we've done our morning breakfast. We've done our morning trek. We've even done a bit of a shower. We've had lunch, and I think that is only 1 p.m. So we've got to find something to do for the next um, eight, nine hours before we go to bed. We decided to lounge around in the sun. Hi, hey, Rob. Not a bad view for some sunbathing. Huh? Bye-bye.